Hey everyone, Travis here on day two, week five of the NALCS, joined by Bubba Dub. How's it going, Bubba Dub? Good. Yeah. I really Hi, like I'm your Bubba mustache. Dub. Yeah. A lot of people say that. Yeah. It's the first time that I've ever interviewed you. Uh, so anyway, I understand that you uh, you look like different without the mustache. Yeah, people say I look different. Yeah. I'm uh, not sure why. Yeah. I think I look the same. Uh, did your wife come here today for the game against Dignitas? Nah, she's working. Okay. Unfortunately, it's during the week and she couldn't get the days off. Do you think that she's like a, a bad luck charm because you were able to beat Dignitas today? No, Travis. Okay. Do you hate my wife or something? No, she seems really nice. I like Caitlin. She's a cool champion. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm forgetting, but I don't think so. So No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Wow. Anyway, no, talk to me about that Dignitas game, uh, Bubba Dub. Let's see. Kez basically told us not to play aggressive, so we just played back. And he's like, oh, at least it's bottom. I'll be there for the counter gank. But then they decided to just dive us and die before at least could actually get there. And then when we went to kill Cutie Pie, at least like baited himself yeah. into a 2v3. Were you, like, uh, how, how was that working like for the team in the game? Were you were you sitting there like, holy crap, are we going to beat Dignitas? Or are you just sort of like, eh, it's going to be easy. We're going to be able to beat them, no problem. No, everyone was getting really hyphy. And then it, in cons, we'd really have to say, we have to calm down yeah. and listen to Kez. Because everyone like just starts making a bunch of calls. And then like Kez, Kez's voice gets drowned out because he's not as loud as everyone else. Yeah. I don't know if he looks quite like the quiet type, but he is. Uh, who's telling everybody to calm down? Who's, is that like Prolly or who? Uh, mostly probably. Okay. Mostly probably. He doesn't seem like the type to tell people to calm down. Um, he seems like the type of person you have to. Okay. Looks are deceiving, Travis. Okay. Who who gets hyphy that you need to tell to calm down? Is it you? I'd say Robert. Okay. And West. Yeah. And me. Okay. And probably. Okay, so probably he's even <laughs> telling himself to calm down. Yeah. All right, you guys can't talk about me when I'm right here. <laughs> this, a, is, this is this has gone far it, enough. How's it going, probably? I just figured, like, I got all these tweets saying that you needed to be in the interview, so I just figured I'd just pitch you here, I guess. You're using me? Yeah, exactly. We're on this really tight bench, and I'm pretty sure it's going to break at some point in time. Yeah, because you're so fat. You know, it shows up on the ca You know, people always tell me that they're surprised that, that I look a lot better in person than on camera. It's a thing. <laughs> what a backhanded compliment. I know. I never know how to take it. it Normally, nice, yeah. when I was expecting to meet you, I thought you were going to be really gross, but yeah. you're not that gross, so good That's job yeah. for that. Oh, Al almost had somebody walk through. That was sick. They stopped at the last minute. They realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They realized the error of their ways. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's get back into the Dignitas game. Uh, probably, what is your summary of what happened? How did you guys manage to take out the team that was tied for first with CLG? Uh, you know, bring them down. What happened? Because you guys are in last place. Yeah. So how did you do that? You took out a first place team. You need to hold the microphone up and if you're going to talk. Am I doing it right? Yeah. How did you do it? Um, I think part of them got a little overconfident when they outplayed us really hard level one. And what's his face? Zion on Shivana. Mm -hmm. Overextended top and Kez was able to get a gank off because he recognized that Siobhan's going to play aggressive. Right. So that kind of snowballed the top half of the map. And then the mid was pretty even. I had slight pressure just because of the matchup. So the only like point on the map that could ever die was bot yeah. lane. So it was really easy for us to be like, okay, well, bot lane just survive. And once Eve gets down there, you guys can be aggressive. Yeah. So they basically had one play, which was gank bot. And we were able to either avoid it or capitalize on it. And they kind of had nowhere else to go after that. Bubba, did I miss anything at the end of that game? Did you guys like completely shut them out? Did they get any kills? Um, I think I died yeah, to a rocket at some point. I don't even think it was shot by Cutie Pie, but I think it was just a rocket in in air. I don't know how. Like from from like the spectator, yeah, like somebody controlling the camera. Yeah, the spectators really wanted me to die there. Okay. So you were the one death. Yes, uh, you were. I, I got executed by a spectator. Okay. Probably, how does that make you feel? Makes me feel terrible. We almost had a really cool game until Berry Bear Dab. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were all looking at our item shops. And then we go, I, oh, 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 we just lost Bubba. 
Oh, all right, guys. I it. If I had flash, I would have flashed it. I, I was pressing B, and I'm like, all right. I'm like three seconds. For, oh, there's a rocket, and I can't move. Yeah. I honestly forgot that that's what Jinx does. If I was low, I would have died too, mm. and he saw me. Because I was just like, oh, they can't Who kill me Who plays right Jinx anyway? The cutie. What a cutie. Cutie plays it. Yeah. Now, probably. Uh, I wanted to apologize to you because there's a house tour that still hasn't come out yet that we shot a while ago. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of my video producers ended up going to DreamHack and E3, and then the other one's going to MLG, so it's just been kind of complicated. Uh, and it's going to be really awkward because there's going to be a shot where you talk about Broken Shard's room. Yeah, and that's yeah. Ke Kez and Shard's room. Yeah. yeah. It's a jungle room, basically. Jungle we room. put it on the bottom floor, and yeah. you can just think about killing neutrals and not dying so probably what what happened with broken shard did you guys just what like what's going on oh he the broken is situations. like not allowed to come back uh he's allowed to come back but the estimated this was if things go right he comes back week nine which would put us two weeks to practice with basically a new player since he'd be gone at for the entire six six split, weeks yeah. at this point so it's like with six weeks without practicing him and then we have two weeks to get results it's kind of like this puts us in a really hard position. So it's like, well, our best chance of winning is literally playing with someone for as long as possible and putting in a new player, even if he's like leaps and bounds ahead of the other player, it would still be rough just having yeah. that. So, Bubba Dub, how do you feel Kez compares to Broken Shard? Is he worse, as good, better? I think he has more restraint. But as a player, I think they're pretty similar mechanically. Um, champion pool wise, I think Broken Shard has a better lease in, but Kez has a better Evelyn, and their leases are pretty similar. I would agree with that. Yeah. So is is he is he completely fit into the team now? Uh, no. Everyone talks over him, like all the time. You're talking about that. All the oh, yeah. time. Our strategy before the game was, hey, hey, right, right, ref guy, turn Kez up <laughs> higher than everyone else so we can't ignore him. Yeah. And then during the game, the calls were just listen to Kez. <laughs> yeah, like everyone's that talking, and it's like no, like everyone, you're everyone's wrong. Listen to Kez. <laughs> everyone, just guys, listen, listen to, to Kez. Kez. Everyone has their own idea of like how yeah. to end the game, and it's like listen to Kez, and Kez just says it, and we're like okay. <laughs> That's pretty much our comms. Yeah. When we listen to it, it's gonna be okay. Shut up, listen to Kez. Yeah. That's gonna be said like five times in less than a minute. That's our new communication. Yeah. Like that's my call. <laughs> it's, it's shut up, listen to Kez. I called it too. Yeah, and that's Bubba's call sometimes. Yeah, those those are our. We're just our Kez, we're just Kez cheerleaders actually. We're like this guy knows what to do. Let's listen to him. Yeah, let's go Kez. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go Kez. Let's go. I like that you put the microphone there to make sure that it. I want to want to make sure they got the beat. Now, uh, this is an interesting thing because until they lose to Curse later today, uh, you guys have put CLG in first place, definitively in the LCS for the first time in their history. Uh, do you regret your decision at all to beat Dignitas because of that? No. I mean, we threw two games against CLG because we, we think they deserve first place. Okay. Yeah. It just seemed like the right thing to do was to throw. Okay. Like, yeah. It's just a moral we thing. We wanted to be honorable opponents to them. So you're just oh, we, did, we like actually a... did get honorable opponent by them after that game. So oh, really? It was, it was pretty much worth the loss. Yeah. So are you, are you, uh, you just kind of feeling sad for CLG? These days, you're like, oh, they've had a rough couple of years, so let's just help them get up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically it, Travis. You just took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, <laughs> do you feel, as I do, that now that CLG is first place, that that means that um, there's a very good chance that they'll get last place by the end of the split? You know, they'll take that spot from you? Oh, I, I, I could only hope. Yeah. But, uh, no, th next time we play them, we have to beat them because they're first. And it's kind of a trend for complexity. Yeah. We lose to everyone and then just beat the first place. Yeah, it's we're the we're the blue turtle shell in Mario Kart. So it's like as long as you're not first and you hear the little you're good. Yeah. But the second you're first place, just listen for it and you're gone. Yeah, you're gone. Is that is that no are you when you say that noise is that and you say people should listen to it, is that just because you follow around the first place team and just make that noise well, no, as well, you're walking behind them? We don't follow them. We accelerate quickly towards them and then mm. knock them up in the air and they do a backflip and then land. Yeah. And okay. they go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait, what did they go? <laughs> or if it's DK, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those are my Mario Kart sounds. Yeah. They're very accurate. Don't test me. I uh, I just bought a Wii U recently, so I've got Mario Kart 8. That was one after E3. 
You, you can't. You're talking without the microphone. You're making oh, noises, I'm yeah. literally just saying. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, and you so want me to put that into the microphone? Yeah. People care about that. My opinion. Yeah. 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 They'll. They'll All rage. Right. Yeah. I care. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Yeah. I like. I like hearing you. All right. Mm-hmm. Do you guys? Uh, I hate do you Travis guys play so Mario much. Kart? Wait, what? Do you guys play Mario Kart? All the time. I used to be a pro in Mario Kart. Really? Before I switched, before I switched over. Yeah. Uh, which one? Uh, Mario Kart 64. Mm. That has a very small competitive scene, but yeah. <laughs> it was basically him and his like family. Yeah. <laughs> that was the competitive scene. And my friends. And my family. It's right next to Unreal and Quake, I think, actually at the those events. What is happening right now? It's a family head to head. Really? Are you even listening to this interview? This is an interview? Hey, Travis. What, what are we doing right now? I, I forgot. Oh, yeah, we were, we were going to play Smash Bros. against each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Are you guys going to MLG this weekend? No. It's in Anaheim. I feel like you guys live close to Anaheim. And there's Smash Bros. there. Smash Bros. tournament. I like Smash Bros., but I don't think it's worth the money to go to Anaheim just to see it. Damn. Wait, how much is it? Um, Complexity players. 65 bucks? Shit on MLG. We're very poor, <laughs> We're poor. Very poor people right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So last place teams don't, they don't do so well in the money? W- no, because yeah. when we lose and go out, you know, the winners sign and stuff, and then the losers get mugged. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we're when we're done with LCS, we're like, <laughs> we like we try to hide. We wear L and Q jerseys and stuff yeah. when we leave and okay. try to get through the crowd. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't work you out. Somehow say, they always know we're yeah. not L and Q. You just yell Lomo a lot? Yeah. And, yeah. Just say Lomo. Yeah. Cute boy, fat boy. Yeah. And then and then I do the Xiao Wei Xiao sounds. Do you ever yeah. watch a stream? Uh, I've not seen the Xiao Wei Xiao stream. Okay, you should watch it because it's like the cutest thing. Mm. Whenever he gets excited for anything, he just makes a noise like you know normally like you're like oh man. His version of oh man is like oh 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 oh, and it's like you get into it so hard because you're like oh like you go yeah. back at him. It's like you're having a conversation. Yeah. So he's he's a really good streamer. Have you like talked to him, him uh, like that here? Since you guys are both here? No, we don't communicate in sounds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We should, though. That would be way better. It would be like whales. Yeah. Like, you know, whales communicate in sound. Yeah. You'd be, un- you'd, you'd be able to understand better. Yeah. Did that. Mm. Well, I see us yeah. like him today. I think that's why, or that's what I got from his stream. Travis, you need to stop hogging the mic. You want to take it? Oh. Yeah. Can, you, can you, we just talk, Bubba? Yeah. All right. Wait, can you leave now? Easy. Yeah. yeah, so Bubba. All right, so what I learned from the Xiao Xiao stream was farm well and don't be a noob. So today I farmed well and I wasn't a noob, and that was all thanks to Xiao Xiao and his awesome noises. Nice. Well, what I learned today is don't go all in if you don't have the jungler in the back pocket. You know, you did that today. You didn't go all in, and we won. Yeah. I wasn't a noob. You didn't go all in, and we won. Yeah. And, uh... I think that wraps it up. So, uh, do you want to give a shout out to your sponsors, Bubba Dub? Yeah. Well, first off, I'd like to thank my wife for supporting me, and then I'd cool. like to thank all. Uh, I'd like to thank Complexity, and all their sponsors, which are Sound Blaster, Cyberpower PC, Creative, Newegg, Don't you do it? Twitch, Scuff Gaming, Ponentware, and DX Racer. And uh, no, thank you to Travis Gafford. That guy's awful. On gamers.com. Yeah. I just want I yeah, I just want to beatbox. Can you just rap for me? Uh his name was what's your name again? Prolly. He was really jolly. Dude, you are so white. Yeah, <laughs> you are so incredibly white.